I've always had a question when it comes to levels in the back rooms. Which one of them is actually the biggest one? Now, I'm not talking about levels that are supposedly infinite or that generate environments as you go along. I'm talking about the levels that have been explored and have definite beginnings and ends. Which one of those is actually the biggest one? And I think the answers are definitely gonna shock you. Without any more introduction and any more blabbering, let's get into the video, shall we? And please leave a like for my eyeballs because I went through literally 300 levels trying to find the biggest one. So, thanks. I began my search for finding the biggest level over on the Wikidot by reading through literally tons and tons of entries where the descriptions of the levels actually said that they were not infinite. And for the sake of organization, I will start from the smallest big level in this video and work my way up to the actual biggest one. Again, none of these are infinite. These are definite sizes, but they're still huge. First up for the video today is level 20 of the back rooms. This is the warehouse level. It's a very famous one. It's only around 200 to 300 kilometers in size, which is just about 150 to 180 miles. And it's believed to be no bigger than that. That is the entire constraints of the level is inside of one giant warehouse. Now you might think that a warehouse being 180 miles is, is really big, and it is, but compared to the other ones we're about to get into, this is like a small fry. This is nothing, I, I promise. Can definitely do better than that. The next biggest level is three down, which is level 23, and this is the Petrified Garden. Now this one is actually the size of a dwarf planet and is full of all sorts of strange flora and fauna and entities. According to the totally reliable Google, a dwarf planet named Ceres is around 952 kilometers or 600 miles wide. And another dwarf planet named Eris is 1400 miles or 2300 kilometers wide. So because of that, we're going to assume that backrooms level 23 is somewhere around the size of that real life dwarf planet. So anywhere from 600 to 1400 miles. Level 23 is also unique because it is confined to its own reality, and that planet is like, that's it. There's no other levels that are easily accessible from it. But since it's around, you know, 600 to 1400 miles, that puts it right above level 20 in size. Again, that's, that's pretty big, but let's see what we got next. Level 15 is actually next, and you might think that's weird, but the first 14 levels of the backrooms are infinite. They're all thought to be never-ending, and they have no known boundaries or borders or anything, and this is the first level in the lore that does. Level 15, or the Futuristic Halls, as it's named, could be infinite, but the wiki dot itself specifically says that it might not be because it just might be that the level's so big that we haven't explored the whole thing. So far, one guy has covered the surface level of 6,080 kilometers squared. So it took one guy exploring these halls over a year to come up with that number. Like that's all he did for a year was explore this level. And he thinks that it's not infinite, it's just one big complex. So going from 1400 miles from level 23 to 2300 miles or 6,000 kilometers squared in this level is not that big of a jump. But oh wait, it is gonna get bigger. Buckle up. So next is level 101. Now that's a pretty big jump from 15 to 101, but all the levels in between there are thought to be infinite. This level claims that it is an almost exact copy of Earth, which is the third planet from the sun, the one we live on, the front rooms, whatever you want to call it. And if that is true, that would mean that it has the exact same measurements as our Earth does. Earth is about 197 million miles squared, or 510 kilometers squared, which makes it way bigger than level 15 or any other dwarf planets. So level 101 is essentially Earth, and that's massive. I mean, we live on a huge planet. I mean, it's 197 million miles squared. Surely it cannot get bigger than that without being infinite. There's no way. Well, it can. That's, that's why there's like five minutes of the video left. Level 110 is next. We only had to go nine more levels to get here. Level 110 takes the appearance of a huge tube-shaped space colony city thing that looks to be right next to a black hole. The wiki says that the estimated diameter of the city is 1000 AU. Now, 
you're probably asking yourself, Brugley, what is an AU? I'm not a scientist. Tell me. And no, it's not Australian money, I promise. AU stands for Astronomical Unit, and it's pretty much how scientists do measurements in space. And just for reference, by the way, one single AU converts to around 92955807.26743 miles. And this level is a thousand AUs in diameter. Which means that level 110 is in the ballpark of 92,955,807,273 miles squared. Which, yes, is a lot bigger than Earth. That is thousands of Earths. That is thousands of level 101s. That is massive. And it's not infinite. As of recording this video in March 2024, level 110 is the biggest level of the backrooms that is not infinite, that is not, you know, generative, it just is one solid thing and it has definitive ends and definitive beginnings. It's the biggest in all the backrooms lore that I could find. There are thousands of levels on different wikis that might have a bigger one, but as far as I could locate on the wiki dot, this level is by far the biggest, non-infinite big level. Let me know in the comments if I missed one or if you should think there's another one that should be added or anything like that. Uh, I could make a follow up to this video if you want, but I've always found this concept very interesting. Most of the backrooms levels we discuss on this channel are indeed thought to be infinite or kind of like a Minecraft world where they just generate new chunks as you go along. But I've always found it cool that there are levels that have confined spaces. And the biggest one of them all is unfathomably big. I mean, it's so huge. That's what she said. But anyways, I think it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty mind bending that something could be that big, but not infinite. And sometimes I also think that if there is a measurement that we can put to something, it actually ends up feeling bigger than saying just, oh, it's infinite. Like that level 110 seems bigger than an infinite level because we have an actual around about guess number of how big it is. I don't know, to me that just feels actually larger. Anywho, that is it for the video. If you enjoyed this kind of breakdown and you want me to do like more of these, maybe find the smallest level or maybe find something like that, maybe do an entity size comparison level or whatever it is or anything, let me know in the comments, leave a like and I will do it. I also could do things like the biggest Trevor Henderson creature and that kind of thing as well, if you're into that. Thank you for all you do. I love and appreciate each and every single one of you. And without further talking, I will end up the video here. Thanks so much. And I'll see you in the next video.